Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this series about don't buy a file, make a file. And the, the very first question was, and I'm going to take a rectangle and draw a rectangle, just in case I got a leak, it won't leak into the whole page. So this, everything that's black is going to stay as metal and everything white's going to fall out. But if you notice, I had to smart fill it twice. So this fish was going to be in two parts. You can't have that. So first and most foremost, this thing is a huge file. I'm going to change my nudge factor to 210. And I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to move that over. In case I screw up, mess up, I've got a copy to back up on. Or you could save it right now and, and go back and get it. But the main problem is getting it all into one piece. That's pretty easy on this part. We're going to take the shape tool and we're just going to nudge this piece into there. And then we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and just swipe through there. So now we've joined this piece, but we're not connected to the fish yet. Get the shape tool and bring this in to there. I'm not real excited about these, especially, in, no, if there was a laser cutter, these uh, parts of the fin would work beautifully, but on, maybe in part three of this, I'm gonna show a, maybe a better way. So now if we smart fill it, we got the piece all in one part, and there's what it's gonna look like cut out of metal, with the exception that these fins are gone. So we need to do more work. This one right here, and I actually, I'm gonna save this for last because I actually have a different idea on this that I think would be cool. But like this one's gonna fall out. So we need to do the exact same thing and it's gonna add strength. This little part is gonna be wobbly unless you cut out a really thick metal. And here's a good, while we're right here, we can delete that node, and delete that node, and delete that node, and delete that node. We haven't really changed the fish any, maybe a little bit of a curve right there, but we'll leave it for right now and just bring this in. You could actually make it stronger by grabbing one of the nodes and actually bringing it over a little bit. Take your virtual segment, delete key and hit that, but we still haven't fixed this. Same thing on this one. I'm gonna delete that node. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna delete it in a second anyway. And we're just gonna bring this node. Now, if you get that curvy line, you can just add a node right there and bring it up. Now, use the virtual segment delete key. And anytime you make something like this, you'd wanna fill it in with the smart fill tool. And, but see, now we have that fin in there, I would, you know, clean up this part right here. Let's just do that real quick. And in part three, and see these aren't sealed. So that's what the smart fill tool does. So we can back up here and I'm gonna show you what's so good about the smart fill tool. Fill it in, let's move it over. Let's left click, no fill, right click. And I'm gonna start it in red because uh, for plasma cutting and anything, Red means cut to me. Now, this joint now is sealed and we can actually take away that. Now let's look at our fish. Smart fill. Well, see how a line will stop? My box stops the smart fill. That's the, the nice part about that. Let's take the smart fill tool and now look at our fish. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to clean up one more fin, which is right here. And you know what we can do is we can, let's, uh, well, let's just still continue using this one. But remember to smart fill it and seal up that joint. And if you don't feel like doing that, um, uh, the old trick of taking that, holding down the shift key and selecting that, select both of them, go to Windows, 
dockers join curves, and I've got mine set at 0.1, and now that is one joint. So it might save you some time from smart filling. Smart filling is maybe your last resort. And like there's two joints right there that we could have go ahead and do, you know, that we fixed. Now that's not lit up, so we'll hold the shift key and hold that one. And then that's both of them are lit up and we're gonna join them. It's that easy. Now we've got this one. So we still, you know, we still need to deal with this one. This one's fine. This one I have a different feeling about. You could look at it two ways. You know what? Let's do this. Let's make a copy of this. And we're going to do it two different ways to show what it would look like. Let's hit the plus key on your keyboard and nudge that over. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any leaks, but for the video, I'm going to keep it up there. So on this one, we're going to fix like we did the other one. We're going to take this shape tool and, gra and if you use the alternate key, you're kind of lassoing around. You just bring this fin up and do the exact same thing. So we're going to leave that. We're going to use the Smart Fill tool and see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Or my suggestion, well, would be to take two two-point lines and draw like that. Take your um, virtual segment delete key and delete that part of the fin. Delete your little lines. And this in plasma cutting is just a, I'm just seeing if it's a group of anything. You know, if we move this out of the way. Yep, it's just, so now it's just a line. The plasma cutter is going to start, let's look at it with the shape tool. The plasma cutter, see the little triangle? That's the start of your line. There's your end of your line. So it could cut through here. And you could do, you could, that's just a single cut line. That looks pretty cool. It's not going to show up when I smart fill it. But you could also do this. You could also go to your. I would change it to inches. And I would make it at least a quarter of an inch thick. Now this, keep in mind, this file is huge. So we're gonna make it a half inch wide. Then take that line and left click, left click, well, it's not, a, it's, it's not an object yet. Go to object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click, and now you have a, a line cut. But when you fill it in with the Smart Fill tool, that's gone, so that doesn't work. So scrap that last part. Well, sorry, we don't need to do that. We can do this. I would actually take the nodes from our object and we would need to definitely clean up these nodes. And I'm not worried about what it looks like right now. I wasn't thinking about, so I'm gonna delete some nodes, delete some nodes. And I would, you know, curve that and then take this and cut it. Now this was something you definitely want at least a half of an inch. So now when we use a smart fill tool, everything in black is gonna stay and this would be cut out just like this. No, they're going to fall out. So ditch that theory. Um, wish I could go back and... So this is probably the only way to do it. So stay tuned to part three. And we're going to... I'm going to change your idea on these. And I'm going to start cleaning up the nodes. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.